Shivhare. I got that right, Vivek. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine. We were just talking about scam, internet scams and Facebook scams and all kinds of scams. And, mm -hmm. and uh, when I get a notice that says your free Microsoft 10 thing is there for you, I'm told I should just delete it. If it's an email that is not coming from Microsoft, that no, is... No, it uh, just pops up on my computer. Uh... May, no, if if it is on your computer, then it's a real one. It's coming from HP. Yeah. Okay. But All right. All right. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. It's always better. My to personal check. business, right? <laughs> <laughs> so today you're going to talk about tips and strategies on how to build your brand online. So, what do you mean by branding online? Isn't branding just branding? No, uh, branding is branding. But when you're talking about uh, branding online, then you're using a medium like an like internet to actually go out there put your product and services in the forefront of your audience and you do that by either blogging having a great website creating the right logo creating the right domain name and and going out there and pretty much trying to uh, you know gain an authority in the market with that name with that whole uh, uh, what do you call the, the design of the logo itself so it's it's kind of a, a brand management where you are trying to uh, you know position your brand in front of the audience and that is the online audience. So it is branding, but it is done online. Let me ask you a question: Can you really successfully brand online without crossing over to other mediums where where it's maybe not online? How do people find you online? If, they're, if they don't even know that they should be looking for you. Do you know what I mean? She means we should have a poster on the gardener, or a big billboard yes. is what she means. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to tell people that we're on, on serious and, and on, online. online because it's like getting that, pe there's so much stuff online. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we see newspapers advertising hospital lotteries, which people are buying online, but they're still mm -hmm. using a newspaper or terrestrial radio or something else. There, I, I'm wondering if you don't need a personal connection. So you have a product to sell. Right. So you have to sell you, get yourself out, whether it's you're on a panel or that's being covered or whether you're some on a, on, a, on, a, on a billboard or whatever, so that people say, yes, I think I want that. Now I'm going to go online. Oh, well, now I think you're the best of what there is online in that field. But can you just do it online? Is that enough? Uh, yeah, you can you can do that online. Like, look at YouTube, right? People are creating, like, they're doing video marketing, creating a brand of themselves, like individuals creating brand of themselves and making money on YouTube. So it's basically, if, if you know how to create the right brand and position that in front of the audience, that is the online audience, either through YouTube or social media engagement, you can ah, pretty much... Ah, there we go, social yeah. media engagement. Yeah. See? So it's not just online. Well, social media, <laughs> social is, media online. is online. Yeah. I mean, I look at people on Instagram, and they're you know, it's every ten seconds that they're on, what they're eating, the shoes they're wearing, uh, how their hair is done, and then they go and sell a brand. Right? Well, that's the way to do it, right? Yes. You okay. you you give that a personal touch that you are the one who is already using it, and you're loving it, and that's why you should be using but it. But people are smarter than that. They know. Uh, we had this discussion yesterday. They know when a, a celebrity or an influencer, as they're called now, is promoting a post, and in fact. Um, you know, some countries have the law that you have to say it's a paid promotional post on your post. Like, that's why Kim Kardashian got in trouble for the, with the FDA because she didn't, you know, follow all the rules of right. being paid to promote something. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> if you have to, so don't you think that? I mean, yes, we might like to know, you know, which coffee Christine Bentley likes to drink in the morning, but we're also going to know that she was paid to hold that brand of coffee well, there. there. Does that not impact how people think about us? Well, the thing is, like you said, you know, people are smart, but mm -hmm. don't underestimate the, the power of technology, right? Without even letting them know, we can track what they want. And I think I have said that before in, in one of my interviews here, that uh, we can track them whether they like apple or oranges. And that's how we do marketing. We send out emails saying like, hey, do you like Apple? And they go like, okay, you know what? I don't like Apple at all. Then we say, okay, do you like orange? He says, 
yes I do and then we know he likes orange so we we start sending him emails about orange juice or, or things made from orange so that's how you track it without even letting them know and that's how you do proper marketing online these days so how do you get that kind of package into your system say we want to sell tea I mean how are we tracking what other people are interested in doing well the thing is when uh, with the system you have right I, I think the email marketing system you're using is MailChimp mm -hmm. and in that system you can pretty much track how many people are clicking on the links okay mm -hmm. so when you send out an email you can track how many people actually like the percentage of people who clicked on a certain link and based on that you can take these people who have clicked on the link and create a separate list and start promoting only tea bags to them. Lynn, oh. are you doing this? <laughs> 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 Lynn's in charge of our newsletter and our MailChimp. I didn't realize that MailChimp had analytics like that and that's how you... So you really have to d dive down, drill down into everything. Yeah, there, there, there are softwares like Infusionsoft, which, are, which I think most of the big companies like Walmart and even uh, the big players use. And there you can segment every inch of what people want. And that's what you call it, like the behavioral marketing. You are tracking the behavior of your customer. So how many people would be tracking us on a daily basis as individual customers? How many people would be tracking you and where you go online? Well, the thing is I have software where I just shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's not uh, fair. So, I mean, I know you can you can go, you know, incognito online, things are Still, inco saved. incognito, you, they can still track you. Like, don't, don't, don't forget, Google is still the king, and they, if you're using the incognito video, uh, um, uh, web browser on uh, mm -hmm. Chrome, mm -hmm. they still know where you are going. It's just, uh, it will not save any cookies on your computer. Mm-hmm. Well, I just want a whole lot of people to know that there are things that I love that I talk about, and unfortunately, I'm not getting paid to promote any of them. I love Uber, and I love my Fitbit, and I love all kinds of stuff, and I don't get paid for it. I just say it because I like it, right? Yeah, well, and that's part of it. That's part about finding like the natural flow. I just think that advertising and marketing is changing so much that I think I think we know when we're being sold to, and I don't I don't like being sold to. Um, you know, I, I don't like now that the phone, you know, the phone that used to always ring every night at dinner time where somebody's selling me something or the knock on the door is mm -hmm. now, you know, an email blast to my phone. And I do have a tendency to, like, unsubscribe or go away if people send out something at the wrong time that just annoys me. I'll get well, off the list. Well, in marketing, one thing is very important. That is, you, if you're trying to sell a product, you have to understand the timing. Timing is mm -hmm. everything. So when you're sending out an email, let's say on Monday, nobody's going to read it, okay? Take it for granted. you got to send out emails on Wednesdays, and that too in the evening. Wednesdays? Wednesday evening? Yeah. You, you got this right down to the... To, uh, how, do you, how do you know that? Because we have been sending out emails for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and they use the analytics to okay. tell them which okay, ones people so, respond to. <laughs> so, I mean, because I know that, for example, with social media, there are times on Facebook, times on Twitter, times on, uh, which I haven't got it right. I just send it out when something happens. We but know. Wednesday, when, what, what's so wonderful? What's wrong with wonderful Monday, Tuesday? Wednesday. Uh, Monday, everybody's busy and they... Tuesday, everybody's Tuesday still same, busy. Still busy. Wednesday, they're saying, they're, I don't they're, care they're about any of down. that now. They're coming yeah, down. I'm sick of my family. I'm sick of work. <laughs> I now want to read emails. Is that it? Actually, the thing is, Wednesday, they start to calm down about that particular week. So what they say is like, okay, now the Thursday is coming and now the weekend is coming. That's how they start to think about yeah, I gotta get Wednesday everything night. done by the end of tomorrow night because it's yeah. Friday the day after. <laughs> Saturdays so what, what day, are not good. What day makes them the angriest to get an email? Monday. Monday, not Saturday. Sa Sunday? Saturdays you can still let. There are people. Friday night. <laughs> They're not mad about Friday night. Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay, so don't send out something on Monday. Monday, Monday morning. Wednesday, what time? Monday morning is the worst. It's like yeah, and Wednesday. Evening. That's when. That's when you it's get good. the get yeah. out of my life reaction. Yeah. What okay. about if you're sending stuff across the country, though? There's different time zones. Ah, you can track that from MailChimp, too. You can, you can send out according to what time they are there, you know? You, you, can, you can track that. Okay, so what, what is the best time on Wednesday? Evening time, Evening I would day. say um, around 5, 5.36. Okay, so we're are... sending out everything at 5 five thirty on Wednesday. <laughs> no, who knew? Who knew? So what, what other things can VUFA, your company, do to help... Um, our subscribers understand all this kind of thing like well like, 
I would say, you know, um, you know, it, it will sound like a lot of bragging, but everything and anything you are talking about online marketing, from your logo design to brochure design, business card designs, uh, social media integration, uh, email marketing, sales funnels, website design, search engine optimization, you know, all you of You got that. it all? Yeah. You got it I all? I think the yeah. best tip we got here was the timing thing. I mean, <laughs> uh, when to send out stuff, anything, when to post stuff. Mm -hmm. Because social media, it's the same thing. Well, the thing is, uh, like I said, you know, if you want to make a sale, it has to be the right time for the right audience and with the right product that provides a lot of value. You have to back it up with a lot of value for but your customers. But for a business online, that is worth the money alone. Just to know when. When you got to be sending when out When to emails. do the pitch, yeah. right? Yeah. Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from What She Said here on YouTube.